Hi guys, it's Max here with dartsreviews.tv in association with dartsplanet.tv. Today we have Shaggy's darts. Yes, Scott Williams is an up-and-coming player with Target. These look really nice, nice and vibrant colour on the box as well. A little bit different to what I'm used to, but uh, what we'll do is we'll go and get them out of the box, have a closer look and then go and have a throw. So let's have a head over to the table. Okay, we're over at the table looking at the brand new Scott William Gem 1 darts. Good old Shaggy. Just look at the packaging. We've got the beautiful packaging from Target. We've got this lovely yellow and black stripe here with a nice picture of him. Nice full image of the dart itself. Showing there it's the 90% tungsten and they are the Gen 1s. We've got the 25 gram. These are match weighted to 0.05 grams and they're the SP points. Over on the back we have a what's in the box. A couple of close up images of sections of the dart. And the flight and a nice image of his back there showing his shaggy going all the way up his back barcode and the swiss point there right let's get them out of the box have a nice look because these are quite a sought after dart i think right standard foam insert from target with the sp point tool down here and the three darts already set up so you can literally take them straight out and start throwing but we're going to get one out and have a closer look And here we go. They are a nice start. These are 25 grams, so they're quite weighty. Uh, keep an eye out. There's um, a good thing coming up with SP points that you're going to want to watch in the future. All right, we've got a standard sort of like bomb-shaped dart. So we've got a nice long taper here going with some lateral grooves on the first section, going into the two rings with the lateral groove following through. Almost sort of like a teardrop sort of shape. Then we go into this large sort of razor fill grip. Um, it's sort of like a tapered ring grip. Really sharp feeling, very, very grippy. And it's on a push point as well. Um, obviously this goes back for three quarters of the dart and then we've got the black and yellow rings there and you might think this might just taper into the stem but no we have a micro grip right at the back going all the way to the stem as well so again that's very grippy as well because it's a micro grip and then we've got the lovely yellow pro grip stems and the shaggy flights. Well, what can I say? It's, it's a bomb dart, so it's not something I'm used to, but I like anything with a push point. Um, I do struggle with short darts. Um, I know there's so many people out there that do like them as they're front weighted. You can get a nice, decent bit of power behind them. Um, but the grip itself, very, very grippy. It is one section, but that's what Scott Williams likes, and these are his players' darts. Obviously, we've got the etched target logo over there, just in front of the lateral grooves as well. Um, but you could get away with holding it right at the back here if you need a little bit more length. Um, but talking about the length, these come in at 43.5 millimeters long, and at the thickest point, they're a staggering 8.4 millimeters wide. They're a very wide dart. But that really does suit some people, especially people with massive hands or, um, like I said, somebody who wants to get a decent front-weighted dart into the board. Um, I'm going to have a throw of these. I don't know how I'm going to get on, but I am looking forward to them. You know, Scott Williams, Shaggy, you know, is a very up-and-coming player. And I think these darts are going to do quite well. So we'll head over to the board, see how we get on. Okay, we're over at the board with Scott Williams Gen 1 darts, Shaggy's darts in and stuff. These are a sort of bomb shaped dart. They're 25 gram, a bit heavier than I used to. It's the only weight they come in at the moment, but they are looking at putting some more weights out in the future. To me, it's, the sharp grip's very, very grippy. My fingers really sort of catch on it because I've got callousy sort of fingers, so little bits of my thumb really catch and pull it over. But uh, I'm looking at making a little adjustment while I have a practice. And then we'll go into a 201 practice routine. Holding it nice and light. Well, only 22, but they're going fairly straight. I'm happy I'm not pulling them to the right because I'm not over gripping them. Oh, a nice 140, I made a lovely adjustment there. Right, well, we're 
we're going to go into our 201 practice routine. I'm definitely having to hold these very, very, very light so I don't so I catch them and put them to the left. But uh, yeah, 201 practice routine. Game on. One hundred and thirty-five. That's a great start. Only sixty-six left to get. With a very, very light touch. And there we go. Three darts. Oh, I can't complain at that. What can I say? Six starts, considering I was very nervous about throwing these. I had to hold them with a very, very light touch because they are very grippy. But uh, tell you what, we'll go and have a review. Okay, so we've had a throw of these and obviously a closer look. Um, they're very, very grippy. My fingers on some were catching sort of thing. Um, I managed to lighten my grip so I could get a decent throw with it. Oh, I think I've done really well. Six starts with a set of darts that I wasn't too sure about. I started off with a 135, 66 in three darts. That's really good. Um, as for grip rating, obviously it's like a really deep sort of razor or sharp grip, whatever you'd like to call it. For me, I don't like the feel of sharp edges, but I give this a grip rating a 4.5. Not quite a 5, but they are very, very grippy, especially if you're going to have soft fingers and what have you. Um, you can get these, obviously, target darts. £65.95. Obviously, I think that's reasonable. These are player starts, so they're going to be a little bit more expensive. And this is an up and coming player, so obviously, it's going to be helping him out as well. They're 90% tungsten. Obviously, you only come in at 25 grams at the moment, but Target are looking at doing further weights in the future, so you might want to hold off if you want a different weight. But uh, yeah, they're a good dart. They're quite short, so obviously, if you're used to long darts and holding at the back you might struggle with these and obviously they are quite wide at 8.4 mil so again they're going to feel a little bit heavier because they're so wide and obviously they're sort of like a mid to front weighted dart as well but uh, i tell you what you can do head over to dartsreviews.tv and you can download the app even and you can leave us a comment if you've got a set of these or if you're looking to buy a set or if you agreed or disagreed with anything that i've said and also head over to YouTube, click subscribe and notifications so you know about any reviews coming up in the future. You never know, there could be a set of darts that you're really looking forward to seeing. And one thing you can do as well, come back and see us again. Come and check out some more reviews and I hope to see you again soon.